So here we are, Wendy. Here we are, at last. A brand new podcast. Just what the world needs, another podcast. Yeah, but this one's different. It's got us in it. It's got us in it. Yeah. So, first of all, let me introduce... Well, you introduce yourself, actually. Hello, I'm, I'm Wendy. And this is... I'm Mark, who you may know from my YouTube channel. You probably know you with a, a satchel on your back and um, not a satchel backpack and a backpack. Yes. Walking away in 1935. I know, I know. <laughs> I've got a satchel on my back. I'm going to go to school. <laughs> Off um, to school with you. Drop, drop. Yes. Um, so we thought we'd make this. Yes. Because we've been talking about this for so long we have. We that have. we we thought we'd we'd get around to doing it because. Um, like how long have we known each other? Uh, I think it was uh, two thousand and eight or nine. Yeah, around that time. It was definitely around that time. Um, and we met. So I can't. I got how we met wrong. Yeah, you did. Which you pointed out because you thought we met for a friend. Yeah, and we didn't. We actually. Uh, I think I saw your picture on Facebook, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, he's cute." And you were into Doctor Who. I think it was through a Doctor Who yeah, probably, comment. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I agreed with what you said. And then we became... And we had mutual... Did we have mutual friends? Or we did point? have yeah. mutual friends, yeah. Which we still do, I think, we last do. time yes, we checked. We do, yes, we do. Yeah, last time we checked, we've got mutual um, friends. Uh, those who are watching on YouTube, some of the clips, we have Henry here. Lovely, lovely, lovely dog of yours. Yep. He's he's in on the action. Yeah. And vampires around here Vamps somewhere. over here, the cat. Vamp. Yep. There's a fish too, but he's really quiet. Oh, yeah. Fish, <laughs> fish doesn't do anything, you know. But uh, yeah, so we, I, I saw you on there because like, and we became friends and we had so much in common. First of all, there was the paranormal. Of course, which yeah, we're very strongly into. Then there was Doctor Who, massive, Hoovian, and sci-fi, yeah. right? Um, and then also it was just the fact we just we just sparked off each other, didn't we? Mm, we are, definitely have the same sense of humour, that sometimes that little, old, you see on that video, the innuendos, which is sadly, we do. sadly missing now from modern comedy. But I love modern comedy as well. I love that mockumentary style. That's yeah. really, yeah. if you have to nail it down, what kind of comedy is my favourite? It's that. Yeah. That's sort of The Office, Spinal Tap, that kind of thing. See, I'm different. See, I'm old school because I love the Carry On films. I mean, Kenny Williams. And then you go into like, you know, stuff like, but like Kenny Everett, absolutely loved him, thought he was brilliant. Yeah. Staple like, tea time, wasn't it? I on, know. On a Tuesday evening, I think it two was. Two Ronnies, I thought they were brilliant. Yeah, two Ronnies, great. I absolutely mean, Ronnie great. Barker was a genius. Mm. Um, so, and, and then obviously the young ones. Now, to me, um, if those who saw my recent video, um, I, I met Rick Mal a couple of times when I worked backstage lovely. recently. Uh, yeah. Lovely guy, lovely guy. And, um, the young ones changed the playing field mm. whatsoever. I met Ben Elton recently because he was coming backstage to uh, look at We Are Will Rock You musical. Mm. And I will say to him thanks, but you don't do that. You're professional. No. Um, the cat's trying to escape. Yeah, he will try and escape. If you hear a noise in this, it's my cat vampire yeah. trying to escape. Yeah, we've actually got. It's really it's awesome. Oh, look, oh we've, even, we've even got. We've even got sound effects. Yeah. So you don't say we don't put on a good show, no, right? No. Um, but uh, but we were talking because we we have so much in common. We were like, we need to sit down and do a little podcast. Mm. So we'll be covering loads of different uh, subjects. subjects in this podcast. It's gonna be a regular podcast. Yeah. I mean, we want to do a proper podcast for ages. We did start, off, you know, the ones who watched the Z Planet Paranormal Show, yeah. which I really enjoyed doing uh, with Gaz. And for that, you know, for reasons I still don't quite understand, has stopped. But um, we, we we'll come back. We will be covering things in the paranormal. And we're doing the whole sapphire and steel thing because I'm I'm in the blue, right? Yeah, that's really weird. You said sapphire and steel the other day yeah. about us. Yeah. And then on YouTube came up an interview with David McCallum. Oh. Yeah, it was okay. very interesting. A very recent interview about yeah, sapphire and, and steel. And you know, I loved that show. It was another one. So you know, it's good to know because also the other thing I said to you about people don't really know you behind the camera because they see you in front of the camera doing your little bits and bobs right they don't really get to know much about mark well the reason for that is um who cares well there's a few I'm people intrigued <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know who is this man you know with a the couple of videos we have done um well, the one with um your cat's going mental <laughs> absolutely mental um vamp um vamp. we did i've done a couple of videos where we talk about filmmaking me as a filmmaker um, I'm pretty much an open book, really. I, yeah. I, I, but how I, did you how did you get into, like you know, we both have come from different backgrounds. But how did you get into the paranormal? Uh, that was <laughs> through Doctor Who. Was it really? Just, yeah, just Doctor Who, and then sort of came back. And went, oh, I got interested in things that are unknown. Right. Uh, but the real key element was probably that unexplained magazine that I had in the 1980s. Yeah. This large format, really beautifully produced magazine. Yeah. Um, that was sort of the key that really got me into it. And then we did. 
getting out in the field, so to speak, yeah. was crop circle hunting in the early 90s. So it was Did Doctor Who that set you off? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Like, that's some of the horror, that. some of the horror stories of Doctor Who, you know that kind I of thing. I never yeah, actually yeah. knew that Doctor Who got you into that whole yeah. because I suppose when we were in the seventies, sci-fi was our way into a different world yeah. and what's what out what else is out there. Um, for me, it was different, but um, and also like when you went into that because obviously you did the acting side of things oh, as well, oh, didn't you? Oh, you? he's going to commit suicide. Don't worry. Oh, he did. <laughs> You can't, this is honest, you can't see that on the camera. Just please. raw, yeah. in the raw. Uh, oh, he's up there, look. Oh my goodness, the cats are great. Oh my God, he's an absolute lunatic. I mean, with Doctor Who, I, as my friend Mark Bennett says, and I, we, we say this to each other even now, it's quite funny, we say, mm. it's been our constant companion. Yes, it is. Yeah. All through the, the highs and lows. Yeah. Uh, I've pretty I've had many lows in life. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's, um, your, it's your cat on drugs. <laughs> I think he might have to like be uh, let out. Yeah. One second, right. ladies and gents, while he quickly do that. Oh, when did Dan let the, the cat out? Uh, Get out. Right, he's gone. He's gone. Um, it's raw, this podcast, it's raw. Yeah, but we like that. We yeah. like it. When, when I do the videos of you, I like it to be like, as it comes, you know. Because my friend Richard Vaux, the Board Explorer, he has, you know, I agree with what he says, you know, when you're out on videoing I'm, I'm not a painting art but i'm videoing so i have i mean vi i'm filmmaker mode or i'm enjoying the day i think i said yeah, in the previous video yeah. but i'm enjoying the day but i'm yeah. also making a video yeah and when you pretty much know when i right camera's going let's do yeah. it let's talk you know but I, I i it's quite nice for people to see you know what i see which, which is you because you are you know you're such a funny guy i mean you always crack me up you really well, you do crack me we, up. we crack each other up we have and there's always that great chemistry between yeah, us, yeah. which people... Which a lot of people have commented on. A lot of people yeah. comment on, and we could, possibly couldn't talk about. No. Because that would just be like, we just yeah. shh, don't say anything. You know my lips are sealed. Yeah. Um, Today. Yes. <laughs> Got his radio silence there. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, when did we actually... I remember coming around to meet you. you that did. time was snowing, yeah. wasn't it? You did, and you braved you it. You lived around the corner. Yeah, you braved it, and you, you came round, and you bought some wine. Yes, and always, always good. There was, there was a. <laughs> you see, I mean, literally, before I got, I was dropping off the equipment because there's no parking around here. I used to work in a video store, literally just across yeah. the road there. Um, That's right. Yeah, was. and uh, so I bought some wine. But yes, it's, it, we're really on the corner with heavy traffic. But just putting the, the, it's not. Yeah, you wouldn't believe it, would you? Close cut the windows. It's absolutely. Perfect. And that was kind of interesting as well because where I live, um, without giving any details about it, no, it, no, it's sure. very, very active. Or rather, it was. It's quietened down quite a lot. And I remember you said, "I've been." Are you talking about paranormal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, I remember you saying that you've been to a lot of places in your time. You know, this, that, and the other. But when you went, it's going to sound so bad. But when you went to my bedroom, you were like, <laughs> <laughs> you were like, oh my god, right? Yeah. Can I walk into places? I mean, you, you, you have, you have psychic ability. Um, I, I don't, but I pick up energies, which maybe through mm. the dowsing and all that mm. kind of thing. And I say, I'm, I'm. Um, one of the guest speakers at this uh, paranormal conference coming up in Ooh, September at the University of Bath, which I'll be advertising. Um, and my, my speech is going to be that number one, I don't think anywhere is haunted. It's haunted is a word I don't even use. Yeah. I think it's a silly word. I think it's everywhere, absolutely mm -hmm. everywhere. You know, people come to me and say, Oh, Mark, you should do this road place. It's really haunted. I think it's mm -hmm. probably no more active than anywhere else. Yeah. Than walking down the street, you know. Yeah. Um, I seem to ask a question in the paranormal that I don't hear asked anywhere else. Yeah. But I think, you know, haunted is a word that, I mean, it's one of my favourite words, haunted, because it can cover so many things, right? They haunt me, or I was haunted by it, you know? And so what I'm, I suppose it's like something that sticks around, something that stays around sort yeah. of thing. And so with the energy, it's like it's still hanging around, you know, that sort of thing. So that, that kind of can cover that. But when you went to my room, you said... Because I actually wasn't my bedroom at the time. It was actually a spare room, and not oh, many, that's right, yes. not many people wanted to stay there because they'd be like, "Oh, do you know, if just go up there, and it feels really cold, and I feel like I'm being watched, and you know." And yet, it was a really nice room. Yeah, no, and, it was, it was and you went up and you were like, "I feel really strange. Like my head is really fuzzy." You know, the problem is, is not to tell people. If you, you know the previous yeah. people's yeah. interpretations of a particular exactly. place, you want to go yeah. in there completely fresh. Usually, going there, we're not even thinking about the paranormal. Yeah, you know, uh, it's the same thing. I think, why do we inter uh, do the paranormal investigations at night 
Why do it at 10 o'clock in the morning? But I think we also want to do is because you and I talk about everyday life as well. And, you know, the fact that we've got a male, female chemistry, obviously, and I, we can really bounce subjects about. So we didn't just want to stop at our favourite subjects like the paranormal and who and all that kind of stuff. It was about, you know, uh, because often when we go out and we're doing these little videos, you know, Mark and I talk about stuff which is quite important. Yeah. And and we're we're friends, and we really do, you know, like to delve. Mm. Delve. That's a good word. We like to delve, delve don't we? Like we? To delve. We have a bit of a yeah. delve. I've known you now. I think it's fourteen years. About that, fourteen. Fourteen, years? fifteen. Yeah. Yeah, fourteen, fifteen years. Yeah. Um, we're also similar age. She's younger. Just a tad, darling. Just, 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 just a, a tad. tad. Just a tad. And uh, we've had some good. Yeah, I think I've seen you. I said to you earlier. I think I've seen you more in the last six months than I have in the last fourteen years. Well, you see, now we've got together. Yeah. So exactly, we're a yeah. team. Yeah, right. Team. And you always used to say to me, "I want, I want to do something with you a about the Impala, which we did." I um, love it. It came out really well. I said we did a really good Invi uh, Impala yeah. video because which you own. Yes, I do. Out of Supernatural. Because I didn't. Yeah. It took me ages because I'm not very bright. It took me ages to work out. <laughs> What's so special about this car? Apart from being a beautiful uh, 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 muscle car from yeah. America, yeah. she's not seen Supernatural. What's that? That's the TV show. I've never show, seen, yeah. never will. Not my thing. Yeah. Uh, although I'm into paranormal, I don't watch paranormal TV shows because it's just not my thing. Yeah. Um, and especially how many seasons? Twelve seasons. Fifteen. Fifteen, 15 yeah. seasons. That's unparalleled in American TV. I still haven't watched the last one because I can't bring myself to. Right. Because it's the end. But for me, and Jensen's I mean, turned know, up in the boys now. Hasn't I know, he? Yeah. and he's fine yeah he looks fine, <laughs> he was fine. looks fine yeah. it? i mean you know but you, we did that and then you were like i want to do one with you about why because i'm a clairvoyant you know how did you get into it and you know <laughs> Don't you? so how do you get into being a medium <laughs> how did you get into really? it yeah. tell me yeah. word it down so that's that's why we're here really yeah we thought people might find it interesting hmm. I have seen my old Spiral Paranormal series, which we did back in the day. Um, and I was never involved with Spiral. No, I don't know why that didn't quite... You didn't ask me. Didn't I? Didn't ask How me. How rude. Why, why didn't I don't want to be swamped. I think maybe one of the reasons I don't want to be swamped with psychics. Because psychic ability is probably my didn't main interest. You didn't blonde, right? No. Talking about you, Mandy. Um, <laughs> Val. Was, yeah, brilliant, brilliant psychics. Um, yeah. Mandy just blows me out of the park when she comes out with And Alan mm. was, was fantastic yeah. as well. Dear old late yeah. Alan Barnett. Um, yeah, we didn't want to overexpose them. We never did public events or anything like that. No. We used to help out with other people doing public events, but yeah. we never did that thing. That's not really... I mean, that's how we yeah. started out going out in the field. Oh, we'll go and join this company and go out to wherever yeah. it was, Mitchell and Priory or somewhere like that, which we're going to go down to and do a video for Mitchell and Priory. We are. Yes, yeah. I know. Because I've kept you waiting for a couple of weeks. Yes. Yeah. And they've missed me. I have, darling. I've kept you waiting. I know. Um, so yeah, to do that, that's, the beer's coming along. Right. It's coming along lovely. Yeah. I see it's it's sort of growing a bit as well. Like. Yeah, I, I, the other day I got this conversation going all over the place. Yeah, yeah. But I shaved it off the other day. So I've got these new clippers. I've never, bear in mind, I've never had a beer before. Not not a beer, but a, a, a goatee. goatee. Yeah. Never had one before, so I'm still getting used to how mm. you trim them down. It looks good though, because I always said John wanted to tug on it. Yeah, the, it's the not, goatee you can't days. quite tug on it yet, can but you? But you can't no. tug on it. Like, you know, yeah. but you're going to get a Ming the Merciless or yeah, something, yeah. yeah? A Ming the Merciless. Um, yeah. So, yes, yeah, so I'm just, I, I like it, which I've done it a long time ago, actually. It suits you. Yeah. And the thing is, I don't know about you, but the age I am as well now, I feel more comfortable. Like, probably years ago, I would have felt a bit more. Mm -hmm. But now I've reached a point of the tender age that I am, and I'm like, 35, it. amazing. Yeah, 35. Thanks, Mum, Dad. Right, good change. Yeah. But, you know, you feel more comfortable than, like, yeah, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna be it. I'm mm. just gonna be, you know, be myself. And um, a lot of people say to me, you're, you know, you seem really. When we watch the videos of me and you, you seem really natural. And I'm like, well, first of all, Mark makes it so easy to do, like, because you're just yourself. Yeah. Having, I've you never know. put something on, on camera which, my, if I'm with somebody, my partner will be uncomfortable with, yeah. or they came across as uncomfortable. I don't think that, that, that's fair. We need fair. to do an outtake one. Because well, I thought of actually the, the only other day outtake. I thought of doing it, uh, uh, what I call a carry on vlogging with all the innuendos all linked together. Yeah, that would be so funny because we do all the time, like you know. I mean, I watched the uh, we, the, the down one the other day yeah, and I was yeah. like, I can't believe what I said. it's interesting here. You said about carry on, yeah, and I do like that innuendo scene to start. It's, yeah, it's yeah. fun, it's, it's not smutty, not like smutty humor. No, it was good humor, but I look at the carry ons now. And I, I'm almost a little bit left, you're going to hate me for the same, mm -hmm. left cold a bit. Yeah. I actually, 
prefer comedy now. It's just a personal take with everything. I like comedy full stop, you know, because to me it's like... I oh think yeah, don't go wrong. Like the absolute to, geniuses in you comedy is Lauren Hardy. You can see throughout... Oh, no, absolute genius. Absolute they genius. Were so, I mean, Oliver Lardy looking at, as Ricky Gervais says, yeah. It, either Oliver Hardy or, 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 or um, Stan Laurel, Stan Laurel yep. it's like, look, I'm with idiot. And both of them and, can say that. And isn't it interesting that the most incredibly uh, gifted people have a tragic life or are suffering behind the background? Mm. And I think that that's um, a true with all of us. You know, we put on this very good image to give other people pleasure, but un underneath the veil is a completely different thing. And so when you look back at comedy, um, all tragic. I think not. Yeah, I don't yeah. think so much nowadays. I'm talking about Ricky Gervais, he's not a tragic figure. He, he no, enjoyed, he loved life. But there's a guy that I mean, does what, so much for animal charities. Yeah. You know? Um. You know, look at Tony Hancock and all that kind of yeah, thing. But I was, never personally found that funny. No. I'm sorry, just personally, no. never found him funny. Benny Hill was another one. I mean, he never died. Him, yeah. He died alone. Well, that's because I think I think once his TV show was cancelled. Yeah. And even in the 80s, everyone yeah. was getting you know, the comedy's changing now and yeah. uh, the landscape's changing. He absolutely broke him. Yeah. Absolutely broke. And we him. were just talking earlier about, like, I was saying Kenny Everett. For me, oh, Kenny Everett. he was just, he was so natural. I mean, when he did the Rod Stewart yeah. with the bottom mm. that got bigger and bigger, I was just like, and Rod Stewart actually came on. It was like, that's classic. Kenny Everett's video, video show. Had, Fred, had Freddie Mercury and Kenny Everett survived longer. What a great yeah. shows that would have had mm. in later years to come yeah. because they were great. They were good. Uh, showmen, mm. right? It was so. Everything wasn't so PC back then. I mean, I don't. Th Everything's too PC. Everything's right now. too PC. I mean, too I don't. I, I, I don't think anyone should go out deliberately to offend absolutely. people. I think absolutely. that's wrong. I think yep. that's absolutely wrong. And I don't True. think I've ever don't particularly offended anyone. But as Ricky Gervais, I'm going to quote him again because I'm a big Ricky Gervais fan. He says, "Just because you're offended doesn't mean you're right." Exactly. And I think that's so important. Yeah. And the target of the joke with the meaning of the joke and all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's 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 interesting comedy. You know. It, my friend like loves um, normal wisdom. Leaves I love, me utterly cold. I love normal wisdom. Please tell me what is funny about normal wisdom. He's just so. He's just so. Good doubt yeah, what. <laughs> Hang on, we were talking about when we come back to Norman. We were talking about um, Michael Crawford. Yes. That's as, um, that's not a ghost. Michael Crawford. <laughs> he yeah. is a genius. Yeah. And I imagine mean, are you being served? No, I was saying that earlier. Again, that's really health and safety. Sure. He was such a genius, and yet people don't. Oh, you know, but and some of the comedy now is like, I have to use the later ones, Friends, with the with the audience in the background that's so fake. You know, they just put a laughter in after everything. Sorry, I mean, Friends, I mean, I don't you mind know. Friends. I don't I like very late. Yeah, I, I thought it was very good. I mean, if people have to say, what's your favourite comedy? I, you can't do it because you're... Yeah. Someone said, what's your favourite this? What's your favourite that? But your mood changes. But the constant with comedy, to me, anything with Ricky Gervais in and Carl Cooper, but to me, I think probably Curb Your Enthusiasm, mm. Barry David. Yeah, I absolutely love that. I think I like twenty years now, but absolutely spot on. But you had in your films that you did. Yeah, um, that was all improvised comedy. Uh, Ravenswood yeah. and, and Return to Ravenswood. There's a bit of that naughty innuendo stuff in that too, because I liked that about it. It was like you especially know, from Heather when she was doing her yes, bits in the first one. Yes, yeah. you could see that, and I was just like, yeah. So we had that in common, and, and when we go out, we have to tone it down. Mm. I mean, we she's actually, looking, yeah, because Heather looking in the that fruit. Yeah. A shop. Yeah. To buy some fruit, and just so this is an improvised scene. She goes, "Oh, mm, I must prefer some cocks." And there's yeah. that whole scene with the with the with the vacuum cleaner. That was their idea. That is that so was funny. their idea. That is. Brilliant. And you didn't see the stuff that was cut from the movie. But this is what I'm they saying. They actually got totally yeah. naked for me. Wow. Um, which was good on you. And guys. I said, and I was actually hesitant at first, and, and with me, I think that Heather was a little bit annoyed they didn't go in the final movie. I didn't work for the movie. It, it lost the pace. Yeah. But they were actually getting Maybe you should have showed the bottoms or yeah. something. Yeah. But they did it right post credit. Fine both. bottom on screen. Is if you it? wait to the end of the credits on Ravenswood, they're up it doing it against a tree. Yeah. Very tastefully done because it's yeah. still on YouTube. No one knows. I actually, my favourite whole scene was the vacuum cleaner. Um, I love it. Yeah. Because that was just complete genius. So. Um, but I, what I'm saying is that we have we've just we have to tone down a bit, don't we, when we're on camera? Yeah. Because we're professional. I think also that the reason for that is you don't alienate... Mm. When you're doing a YouTube yeah. channel, you don't alienate an, or an audience no. and make it inclusive. Yeah. Oh, look, it's a joke, but they're not going to get this joke. I don't think that's right. You're doing yeah. it for the audience. Yeah. But if we build that up as we go along, I think people will be more accepting. And then there's that whole red wine thing, isn't there, with oh. us? Like, we have, we've quite a, a lover of the red we wine. We love the red wine. It's one of my five a day. 
I mean, I said before, I didn't. Um, I'm quite. I live a, a, a quite not. I'm not one of these boring healthy health nuts. But I do intermittent fasting every day. I'm on a 20 hour mm -hmm. fast at the moment. Yeah. Nothing deliberate. He says I had a big Chinese last night. Filled me up. I've done. I won't eat now till about four o'clock. Yeah. That's almost 23 hour fast. And you're not fading away. Fasting is one of the best things you can do for your body. Mm. Absolutely is. So, um, but yeah, but red wine with with a meal is just one of life's pleasures. And, and I, I sort of notice how that glass size starts off like should we have this like, no let's just go for the bigger one <laughs> the let's bigger just go for the bigger one, one. Yeah. it lasts longer mm. and we have had we have had some great fun um especially the soup which got draped all over the over the table oh gosh yeah, that didn't was it? so funny because it's and we've had to like you know so we actually tone it down because mark and i could be worse i think what we might do is in these future because we're going this is going to be our studio yeah. If I, we're just happy with that, well, yeah. and we'll have if you a like few. My sofa. Yes, yeah, I like your sofa, and we'll have a few uh, wines on the go. I think. I think so. I think it would be quite cool, actually. Yeah, because um, as as it goes along, it will be quite. You'll be seeing this car next bit, car next bit. <laughs> hang on a second. There's some spirit in the room. Yeah, the yeah. thing about podcasts, you don't want to cut anywhere. You don't want to edit. It's yeah. A, you, want to, you want to keep it raw. Hence this podcast. All right, we're going to admit it. We still haven't got a title. By the time you see this, we will have a title. Have, yeah. We went through so many titles, so yeah. many have been used. So we want to be get a good snappy title. We want something yeah. original, don't yeah. we? Yeah, yeah. And um, we just thought we thought like raw and naked with Mark and Wendy yeah. was good, but, but it's chilly. You want to keep yeah. it short, short. You know, because we're and, you know we are we are um, 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 becoming raw. You know, and and people say they love the chemistry, so I think that's why we wanted to do it as well. And I think also. You get to know a little bit more because as I say when you see you on camera you over the years and I have to say which is Mark knows you're my bathroom uh, secret you know, there's a clip for YouTube <laughs> because I <laughs> always watch you when I'm in the bath always I've got actually nothing what can I say to her <laughs> I always Cheers. watch you when you're in the when I'm in yeah. the bath because you know at the oh. end of the day um you know I, I watch quite a few of them while yeah. I'm sort of in the bath. So you're my, yeah, I'm, I get. Thank you. Raw and naked <laughs> with you, right? And um, it's interesting. Let me look at the stuffy old church. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, look at the, look at this uh, lovely, lovely old painting. And so look I'm at just the still. Go around here, and I'm just going to go around. And obviously, yeah. like now, when I watch the videos, I know what goes on behind the scenes. So I'm like, oh yeah, he just did this. Yeah, he just did that. So I did that. But yeah, you are my. Um, Dirty little secret in the bath, yeah, you are. Because you're such fun to watch. Oh, thank you very much. But I would like you to see, I'd like you to go further in your, you know, um, like, so I, we talked about this coming out of Surrey, going further. Right, the, re the, the, the whole reason for that's been um, my car's getting very, yeah. I've got a 20 year old car now. I've had it for, oh, God, 16 years. It's actually the car that keeps on giving. Yeah. I would like to, I've explored sorry a lot in the last two years and yes I do want to go I'm going to yeah. go out to East Sussex yeah. West Sussex yeah. I really want to go get on a plane Sussex. yeah mm -hmm. yeah I want to get on a plane we, want to go to, what? we do don't yeah. we yeah. we, we want to do things together yeah. we're talking about maybe go to Rye yeah Glastonbury Glastonbury which I've yeah. been to for about eight years we're gonna we're talking about going into the, uh, that I use the word haunted stroke active room that everyone wants to stay in Oh, and spend the in. night there. Yeah. A night with Wendy and Mark. Yeah, in 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 in, in a haunted room. That'd yeah. be quite cool. We do a live yeah. stream from there. Yeah. So yeah, that's on the cars maybe instead of look. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm I'm limited what I can do at the moment because I'm I'm doing I'm serving a, a role at the moment for my mum. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I really want to get to Florida. Because we, I mean, we both have you know we our talk. I mean, how we met because obviously when we started talking about me and how what I was into and you were like oh. You're a, you're a clairvoyant, you're a psychic, and I was like, yep, I am, and then we got chatting about that. But how did we, I thought that was a connection I knew anyway. No, it was definitely, it was definitely, I think you f it's on my page, <clears throat> I think right. it was on something about on my page, and I think that's how we started chatting, but... I always find that funny, oh, the light's gone down, sorry, because yes, the so. clouds have gone in. Yeah. Um, it's interesting, I always find that funny with uh, mediums, not you, mm. I'm talking about here, but I say, you don't get this with plumbers or engineers, no. it goes, psychic. Or someone so and so yeah. clairvoyant on yeah. their profile picture, and that's their title. Yeah. But not, you know, you don't get no, it in any other profession. But I never want, you know, I, I, this is going to sound terrible, but I, the great blah blah blah, the greatness, unique, whatever. I don't like that. If you're if you're a clairvoyant and a psychic, you, I'm just me. 
right? Mm. What you see is what you get. Apart with people are getting psychics, things. and they are celebrity. Exactly. So I cringe at I that. Don't or, like that. Yeah, I'm an no. international. I mean, and then we, well, know, basically they went on holiday and did a reading. For if someone. you're the one, only one of a kind, then yeah, put yourself as the one and only. Mm. But there are many of us. And I actually had us. one lady. Oh, a few years back now. Contact me. Get my drink. To, to get your drink. But yeah. it's not wine. It's, oh, I see. It's blackcurrant. Black, yeah, too, well, a bit, bit too early for wine. Well, not yeah. if we're at a pub lunch. Not really, love. It's always we'd wine. Have, we'd have fitted yeah, it's, it's always wine o'clock by <laughs> some point in the Somewhere. round globe. But this lady contacted me, and she actually this was her opening statement. She goes, oh, "My name's so and so. I'm actually one of the, uh, the country's leading mediums." I was like, "I've never heard of you." I actually said that on the reply. I said, "With all to that, I've yeah. never heard of you." I said, "Who?" I don't, and I said, "I don't really think it's wise <laughs> to go and say you're the best thing when you don't know any other psychic exactly. medium in the country." Exactly. It felt a very bizarre way of introducing yourself. But there's, there's a lot of ego. Well, especially as you well know in the spiritual there's churches. There's a lot of like, ego, yeah. and that's one of the reasons why... And I've seen a I lot of it. <laughs> I don't do churches. Yeah. Um, and I don't, you know, I, I mean, years ago I did a few psychic, psychic fairs, and they were great fun to, to learn your, to no, hone your craft, you know, because you're mixing with people. But... You're quite right, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, you know, my whole role in getting involved in psychic things was, was, a, was a completely different road, but... You know, um, I just don't feel comfortable with being like, you know, and people pay extra, don't they? They pay extra to go and see someone. Like, without naming certain people, there are certain celebrity mediums that are paid £250 upward, and it's just like, I, I well, my do opinion that. is more for, more for them. I couldn't. No. Yeah, I couldn't even. If I had the ability you know, to be a psychic, I would do it. For, I'm sorry, no, I'm, it sounds like I'm saying We've all got to pay the bills, I, Yeah, but, but you know. that's I would do it for free. Mm. I would do it for free. Yeah, like Alan did. Yeah, and there is that thing of people that do, and then there are you know some of us that have to pay the bills, and it helps to pay the bills. But at the same time, I think you have to keep yourself within a limit, because if you, you know, um, but I, I feel very like you. Years ago, I knew of somebody, uh, a medium. And they were like, well, after you've had the, you know, after they've, you've done this reading, mm -hmm. write everything down and we'll file it. And I was like, I can't do that. That's, that's not, um, me integrity. You know, I, I can't do that. I forget. Like when I've read for someone, unless there's something that's really stood out amazingly, like there's a few readings I've done over the years that have, that have stood out for me. But I, I pretty much forget. Readings, you? Yeah. you know, you forget because life carries on, and you know, I'm not always Wendy the psychic. You know, as you mm, know, yeah. You know, I'm yeah. other other roles she's other, as well. She's other things. I love the things mm. too. Um, this is interesting. We've really got just in this introductory podcast. We've gone yeah. right round the houses. We've gone Doctor Who, paranormal, psychics. But this uh, is comedy. Yeah. This is a conversation. Yeah. With we will us. have individual topics. Yeah, we will. What we're going to do is we're going to we're going to pick a, a topic. And um, that even though we might weave slightly, yeah. we'll, we'll stick on, on, on target because at the end of the day, um, why not? Well, I can't thank uh, Wendy for this lovely studio, which is the front room. Well, it's, it's nice. I don't know about that, darling. It's very nice. You know, it's, but I also think the important thing is to know is that it's for fun. Yeah. It's, it's light-hearted, it's for fun. And also, we, why, we could get our five cents out there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's millions of podcasts out there. Yeah. Um, you know, we might not even but I really want to do that travelling like you know because I seen you when you were in America as well and I was like Alcatraz I would love to do the night in Alcatraz oh, that'd be amazing I would love to do that and I'd like to do Route wouldn't it be great to take the Impala and do Route 66 totally impractical car to do it I know it? because of the petrol like mm. I'd actually do Route 66 from like, I know quite a lot about it I've, I've done bits of it in the past mm. um, I will probably do it from Albuquerque onwards. But would you drive something special? No, not particularly. Would you not? No, I'm not really a car person, right. so okay. as long as it's it's a beat and it's powerful and it can get you there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not too, I'm not too bothered. And you know what I thought would be really fun if we had one of those, uh, what do they call those American... RVs? The, 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 the metal, uh, aluminium looking things that they go out on. Oh, the, um, well, uh, recreational vehicles. We could do one of those, yeah. like, in the morning, coffee, mm. you know, morning darling, you know. Yeah. It would be fun to Camper travel. Camper kind of things, yeah. Because be I, I follow quite a few, about three people with RVs in America. Um, Travelling yeah. Robert, Nomadic Fanatic, and uh, a chap up in Canada with Chrome the Dog. Yeah, uh, lovely. Um, Chrome the Dog? Yeah, lovely. XDJ got into a okay. van and uh. seeing Canada's fantastic, yeah. 
So, so I think we should wrap this podcast up, this first one. Yes. It's been great fun talking to you. We've gone through a myriad of subjects, as I said yeah, earlier. But that's us. Yes, we like to do that. Yeah. Um, hope you enjoyed Variety it. Variety is the spice of life. Oh, isn't it, darling? It isn't is, it? Isn't it? I uh, hope you enjoy the next one. enjoyed this one and we look forward to seeing you on the next one. We'll try and get we these do. out very regularly, yes. every, maybe every fortnight. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's going to be fun. Yeah, it has been fun and I uh, look forward to digging underneath that cover. Finding Ooh. out more. Oh, that's a um, place to leave it. Yes. Have a great day, guys. It's a goodbye from him. And goodbye from you. Yeah. I got it wrong, didn't I? From her. From her. And yeah. goodbye from her. Yeah. Bye. Bye.